Established in 1999 by a Moroccan designer and entrepreneur, Abdesalam Naragi made a fortune by importing cars into Morocco. The current owner, Abdeslam Laraki, started his eventful career through designing and manufacturing some of the most luxurious yachts in the world. Laraki studied automotive design in Switzerland. Dead set on his goal of creating Africa's first supercar, Laraki dropped a concept at the Geneva Motor Show in 2002. A production-ready model was unveiled at the Geneva Motor Show the very next year, the Fulgura. It boasted a V12 6-litre Mercedes engine capable of 686 kilowatts of power. Coupled with a 6-speed gearbox, it could hit 100 kilometers per hour in 3.3 seconds. That's still an impressive figure by today's standards. The top speed was 398 kilometers per hour. That's 2 kilometers short of 400 kilometers per hour. By 2006, these figures were amended and the 6-litre V12 could produce 544 kilowatts and was mated to a 7-speed gearbox capable of pushing the car from 0 to 100 in 3.4 seconds and to a top speed of 350 kilometers per hour. The second car produced by Laraki, the Borak, was unveiled in 2005 at the Geneva Motor Show. The 6-litre V12 Mercedes-powered beast of a Grand Tourer was set for production by 2011 the latest and produced 400 kilowatts of power and could hit a top speed of 310 kilometers per hour and could accelerate from 0 to 100 in 4.5 seconds. Sadly, this car never saw production. The Laraki Epitone was the car company's third car debuted at the Pebble Beach Concourse D Elegance in 2013. Only nine such models were built, making this car exceptionally rare. This beast was powered by a C6 Corvette V8 twin turbo engine. It had two different fuel tanks, one for normal petrol and one for 110 octane fuel. It produced around 882 kilowatts of power from the normal fuel tank and 1,287 kilowatts of power from the 110 octane fuel tank. The horsepower to weight ratio was 1 to 1 and was priced at $2 million. Laraki is an exceptional car manufacturer and is a testament to African craftsmanship as well as innovation. We'll be exploring more African manufacturers and bringing you more African-made vehicles, whether they travel on land, sea or air. So, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. See you next time. Shop, shop, buffet.